Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever wondered why this <laughs> mm. can lead to this? Ow! Oh! 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 Ow! How is it possible that a delicious cold treat can cause such an instant stabbing pain? What is actually going on up there? The scientific term for brain freeze or an ice cream headache is sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia and we experience it when we eat or drink something cold that bit too quickly. As the chill of a raspberry ripple or a rocket ice lolly cools our mouths and the backs of our throats, it hits a juncture where we have a key blood vessel. The internal carotid artery is a paired vessel which runs parallel to the jugular vein in our neck. Its purpose? To deliver oxygenated blood to our brain. Up there it meets the anterior cerebral artery which penetrates the brain tissue delivering the good stuff in our blood. So when we lower the temperature in our mouth and throat, it causes the artery to rapidly expand. And this increase in size means an increase in the amount of blood flow, flooding the brain with blood. Studies have found that it's this surge that correlates with us feeling pain. But why? Because our brain is so vital, it needs to remain active at all times. By pulling extra blood into the tissue, it's keeping itself warm against the sudden cold temperature. However, because our brain is a relatively closed structure, neuroscientists believe that the pressure caused by this sudden invasion of blood is the source of that stabbing pain we're all so familiar with. Well, eventually the brain will stop the pain itself through vasoconstriction of the blood vessels, narrowing them down and regulating the blood flow. But you can help it along by jamming your tongue against the roof of your mouth or by drinking something lukewarm to help regulate the temperature. Or you could just not drink or eat anything cold in the first place. Which, frankly, I'm not prepared to do. <laughs> if you have any more questions about this incredible planet we call home, then make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged. Have you ever considered what can be found inside a glacier? Just a few weeks ago in late September, 205,000 pounds worth of jewels were discovered poking out of Bossons Glacier. It is literally my job to be curious, which is pretty easy when you're surrounded by 25 million artifacts, from mosquitoes to dinosaurs to aardvarks and zebras and things that have yet to be discovered. And that got me thinking about thinking. Is a bigger brain a better brain?